Hello, and welcome to the Aaron Schwartz channel. I'm walking along 120th here in Bellevue. This is a very beautiful walk because there's all kinds of plants growing on the concrete wall to my left. There's trees and bushes and shrubs planted to the right. This is a beautiful walk and I absolutely enjoy it. Sometimes when I don't bring food with me and I'm stuck at work for the morning to the afternoon shift, especially on Wednesdays since it doesn't necessarily make sense to go home, I take this route and I walk to Trader Joe's. So the rest of this walk, I'm just gonna let you enjoy. But we see you press this button to activate the crosswalk. And then there wasn't much traffic, so I just went anyways. But you see the walk sign says it was okay to go. So this is near Best Buy in Bellevue. And I continue to walk across Northeast 4th Street here. And it's gladed on the left with bushes and trees, which provide shade, which you can see the shadows on the sidewalk. It's actually a very beautiful effect. There was a light haze in the air. It was around 80 Fahrenheit. We're experiencing very warm weather right now. That made walking from the bus hub to the Trader Joe's much more enjoyable. I usually buy some grab-and-go healthy stuff and then sit at the top of the staircase or in the back parking lot or somewhere in the shade and use a wood spoon that they give me and uh, eat lunch. I bring water in a water bottle and I drink water with my lunch. Walking like this is really good for your eyes, your brain, your coordination, your skeleton, your feet, your calves your muscles, your joints, your ankles, your knees, your hips. It promotes joint flexibility and blood flow to increase to your brain. It gives you cardiovascular exercise and it prevents pooling of blood in the legs which can reduce the risk of stroke clot embolism. Going for a walk, um, and I'm not talking about anything extreme, I'm talking about 10 or 20 minutes, is one of the best ways to improve your overall health and wellness. It, um, st it strengthens the stabilizer muscles in the spine and neck. It promotes good skeletal strength in the bones. The compressive energy created while walking causes the bone cells, which are dynamically constantly reshaping, sculpting the bones to strengthen the bones. So going for a walk um, helps to prevent osteoporosis. Going for a walk um, also promotes leg muscle development, such that going for a walk will strengthen your leg muscles, and it will also improve the strength of the synovial joints in your knees, ankles, and hips, which improve mobility or prevent the loss of mobility. If you look down there, this is an old train route that they tore up the tracks for, and. Um, this whole uh, development that we're about to see was built in 2018 and right ahead there you can see a crane off in the horizon. That's Virginia Mason on the left. There's also a PCC uh, in the basement. That's a, a local grocery co-op. Um, there's a Chipotle on the ground floor over there. We can see REI right ahead and a sign for Trader Joe's Home Goods and REI approaching. Um, this is the parking lot where I typically eat my lunch, and um, I'm going to show you how I get to uh, Trader Joe's. So I navigate along the edge here. Usually the traffic's pretty slow through here, so I just keep an eye out as I'm walking along. Um, I stop and yield to any cars. I just weave through the parking lot like this, and I'm heading northwest, if you're wondering. We see the, the sign for Trader Joe's on the building. And if we continue, they have really interesting LED lighting in the parking lot there. Those pole lights are some of the most interesting architectural down lighting that I've ever seen. Here's another one to the right. But um, if you go all the way over this way, they have some strange parking for eco-friendly vehicles here. And then there's an engineered steel staircase um, across this bridge and then we'll go down here. Now while I was descending 
I saw someone. So I'm cropping deliberately with my phone to not include okay, a random stranger in the video. Here. I try not to film other people unless they ask me to or unless I ask permission, just out of being polite. So this is how I get there. That's what I ate for lunch. It was really delicious.